For these types of problems, you have to find the value of the underlying digit and increase it 10 times. So let's think about what that's actually asking us to do. So we have to find the value, and the value is just the amount a digit is actually worth. So we're going to find the value of the underlying digit, and remember a digit is just a single number, zero through nine, that represents a value. So we're finding how much the digit is worth, and then we're increasing it, which means we're going to make the value bigger 10 times. So it's another way of saying times 10. So for these types of problems, we have to find the value of the underlying digit and then make it 10 times bigger. So let's look at some examples. So let's look at number two. So for number two, the underlying digit is a three and its value is 30,000. I could even write it above so I can see. The value of the three is 30,000, and now we're going to make it 10 times bigger. So what we have to do is 30,000 times 10. But there's an easier way to do this when you think about the relationship between each place and the place value. Because each time you move one place to the left, the value is increased 10 times. Because one times 10 is 10. But then as it moves from the tens place to the hundreds place, it will increase another 10 times. So if you have 10 and you move it here, it's going to be 10 times 10, which is 100. And every time you move from one place to the next, when you're going from the right to the left, every time it increases 10 times, or it's multiplied by 10, you could say. So if you're trying to increase the value of this three 10 times, you can simply move that three one place to the left. So instead of the three being in the tens place, the ten thousands place, we would move it from the ten thousands place, one place to the left, and put it in the hundred thousands place. So this three now needs to be in the hundred thousands place. So when I go to write my answer, I just need to make sure that three is in the hundred thousands place. If I look here, I can see that it is in the hundred thousands place. So the value of the three was 30,000, and if we increase it 10 times, the value of the three would be 300,000. So let's look, at, um, let's look at number four. So on number four, right now we have a one, and it's in the thousands place. So right now the value of that one is a thousand, but we have to increase it 10 times. Basically, we need to do 1,000 times 10. But there's an easier way if you remember that every place value to the left is 10 times bigger. We can just move this one, one place to the left. So if we move it one place to the left, what place would it be in now? it would be in the 10 thousands place. So when we go to write our answer, we just need to make sure that the one is in the 10 thousands place. So let's do one more example. Let's look at number eight. On number eight, we have a four and it's in the hundreds place. So the value of the four right now is 400 but we need to increase it 10 times or make it 10 times bigger. We could do 400 times 10, or we could just remember that every place to the left is 10 times bigger. So we can just move this four one place to the left. If we move the four one place to the left, the four is no longer going to be in the hundreds place. The four is going to be in the thousands place. So the value of this four increased 10 times is 4,000. Okay, you try the rest of them on your own, and if you're still confused or still having problems, just watch this video again. Good luck!